Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumped, back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we are taking a look at the Queen of Toys, Legend Sugar. And i got to say, this chick is awesome, man. Like, she is so fun to play with. Uh, very similar to when Kaido first came out. It was just a whole new mechanic, whole different way of playing. And um, doing team building in with her is actually not as brain dead as i thought it was going to be um her ability to turn characters into toys is so damn strong and in my opinion she has one of the best super typings in the game so let's take a look at what she does so her special on a 14 turn cooldown turns selected characters up to five into toy bears with a cost of 40 and two 0.5k attack for three turns that is huge huge toy bears will attack automatically after sugar attacks ignoring certain status effects and the normal attacks of sugar and toy bears will add 0.7 to the chain multiplier ignoring all enemy barriers so what this means is basically when you hit with sugar the bears will automatically attack after her if you don't turn all of the bears into uh, characters into bears and you attack with them first it still goes to the chain multiplier but then you can hit with them after but going through barriers not having to hit automatically hitting perfects only downside to this is you can't use characters specials but if you plan it right you just don't turn those characters into bears which you'll see in this video it is incredible you ignore blind you ignore paralysis you ignore like stun as long as sugar can attack the bears will attack after it Despair is the big downfall to her, but you just bring someone to remove that and you're fine. Her captain ability boosts the attack of all characters by three times, so pretty low, 1.2 times to HP, but then boosts the attack by 4.5 for characters with a cost of 40 or less and makes crews quick and insults have matching effects. So if you guys just missed that little part there about the bears, they have a cost of 40. So Sugar's effect automatically triggers to a 4.5 multiplier no matter what the characters you pick so you can just ideally build a full team of sugos and then turn them all into bears and then get the 2500 attack as well as the 4.5 times multiplier now to put the 2500 attack into perspective let's um let's have a look at sober mask here so mask is at 2200 attack he's fully key limit broken and has plus 100 cotton candy like it's insane if we have a look at another unit who is an insanely high stats unit um snake man 450 okay snake man fully key limit broken 160 cotton candy 2300 700 2370 like 2500 and then adding 0.7 to the chain multiplier with a 4.5 times captain ability is monstrous absolutely monstrous and you don't have to use her as a captain you can actually use her as a sub to get this effect now her super typing activates when any of the following characters are on the crew Dofi, Treble, Diamante, Pika, Monet, and the last one, which is the kicker, Toy Bears. So as soon as you use her special to make one Toy Bear, you can activate the super type in any point of the fight. Now, what it does is, it does a 2.25 times orb boost for characters with a cost of 40, 40 of left or less, and changes quick characters into super quick. Now, obviously, all bears have 40 costs or less, so her special... Activate her super typing. Use her super typing to give you a 2.25 orb boost. It is monstrous what she can do. As a sub, she does base stats by 100 for all characters with a cost of 40 or less. So when the bears turn turn into bears, she does turns into 2,600, which is crazy. And then she makes in slots matching for your entire crew, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. So, so here we are at the first video, or the first part of the video. Uh, we're uh, taking on Colosseum Gukimaru. Now, obviously, this piece of content is designed to be taken down with Sugar, but Sugar just destroys Gukimaru. So, on stage three against Hitetsu, we are going to use the Onami special. Onami is going to set the defense to zero, and we have the support of Karina to give us a little, just a few extra orbs. Once we've done that, we can use our friend Sugar special and turn Nami and our Sugar into a toy bear. With that, you can basically just attack with sugar, and if you have a, if you get lucky, you can have an orb on Nami, like he'll die there. But otherwise, you just hit with the Kuma, and it's GG anyway. Moving on to stage four, we come up against Zoro, and basically, the what we do here is, is we use all of our specials. So Zoro, um, 
is going to give us a full board of block orbs. He's going to special seal us for three turns. Um, he does a whole bunch of a whole bunch of nasty stuff. So we're going to use Kuma to remove the special bind as well as remove the chain lock that he gives us as well. Kuma is amazing for this particular part of uh, the Colosseum. Then we can use our uh, Viola to change the block orbs into matching orbs. Then we can use the rare recruit Bonnie to give us an attack boost and then turn everyone into bears and just, as you guys can see, just easy claps. We do have the support of um, Peris Sparrow on our Kuma so that way we locked our orbs and we can carry them into the next room. When we go into the next room against Guki Maru, he turns into a red unit. He has a dex barrier for one turn. He gives us five turns of bind on our middle row and three turns of paralysis on our bottom characters. But with Sugar and her amazing special ability and the bears just being like, nah, don't even worry about it, man. We're just going to blast through that. So we have the support of um, Rare Recruit Ace for color affinity. And then we had the support of Margaret to give our Bonnie an orb down the bottom. But you don't really need that as she just has an orb anyway. So with Sugar's super typing, as well as her special, we can turn everybody into bears and get a 2.25 times orb boost. And then we have the attack boost carryover from Jewelry Bonnie. And with that, it's just easy claps. See you later, Gukimaru. Gukimaru has around 36 million HP as well. So he's a pretty thick boy. And with a barrier, and he gives that uh, five sort of hit, like deep new debuff, he can be quite finicky, but Sugar isn't just strong. She's also a lot of fun, and she can do some pretty funky stuff. That 0.7 to the chain multiplier is actually ridiculous, ridiculously good. So hopping into the second part of this video, we're going to sort of break the chain a little bit here. So I've hopped over to the Hawk Forest, and I've put together this team here. Now, we are running V1 Rayleigh 6 Plus as our leader, as he... Uh, times the multiplier by four times. We have Cracker to give us a 1.1 times chain boost. We can switch with our uh, Jumanji to give us a 1.25 times chain lock. And then when we use Sugar, we can turn everyone into bears to get that 0.7 buff. Now that's all going to get multiplied together by Rayleigh's multiplier and the multiplier of uh, Jumanji. And with that, Look at that chain multiply, man. 44 times, 58 times, 72.35 times. Huge. Like, that is huge. <laughs> I just used Komarasaki there just, just to do some extra damage as well. I didn't even see the damage number. I was too, like, more focused on the chain. But look at this. Look at it. It's like 58. 58.1. Like, what is that? absolute craziness i was hoping to kill everyone there so that i could carry it into the final stage against mihawk but um obviously this is not exactly a hard forest anymore once upon a time this was um this was tough content and just to see sugar just cheese it like with a 78 times multiplier is just huge now you're probably thinking like yeah that's really cool and all like that's a that's a big number but like when are you ever going to see that in actual gameplay like like hard gameplay um besides like content that came out like at the initial release date of the game so funny you should ask actually because uh we can do something similar with v3 kuzan so the next part moving from that into um revolutionary army one garbs challenge so we have a mono quick team here led by v3 kuzan now v3 kuzan has the same effect as Rayleigh. he times the, the chain multiply by four times but he also gives a 1.75 times um, attack boost to our red, blue, and green characters, strength, dex, and int, uh, strength, dex, and quick. So we can actually abuse that with the Garbs challenges. So we have a, as I mentioned, a mono quick team here to see how the chain multiplier looks when we use our sugar special on this particular content. So we have Sober Mask here. Um, Sober Mask is on the team to give us an attack boost. He's got just an incredible sailor ability that we can just abuse the crap out of. We can also use Onami on him as well to set the defense to zero against Kuma, as you guys saw there. And then we have Bardo Cavanish. Bardo Cavanish are basically going to keep us alive. They have uh, damage reduction, healing. This just on the team for the switch ability, to be honest. We have a Kiku here to remove um, Bind. Now, if you don't have double special on a Kiku, it definitely helps. But if you don't have double special but have the Kanjiro support, that will work too. So just by standard attacks, Kuzan gets up to around a 25 times multiplier, which is 
pretty monstrous to be honest like that's pretty big so when we start multiplying that 0.7 onto that it can get a little bit nutty i was actually surprised how well this team functioned as well um obviously like you have to play the game but like um kuzan can put up some seriously big numbers like killing inizuma there with five characters is actually without any specials is fair difficult like he has a lot of hp taking out uh Invenkov as well is not exactly a short task the switchability of bardo cavendish helps giving themselves an orb boost but still so now that we're here against uh morley and Bello Betty. We are going to use our Sobermar special again to give us a full board orbs and an attack boost. And then we can use our Kuzan special to give us a color affinity and a orb boost. Not that we need the color affinity. We basically just really want to take out Morley here. But with the amount of damage that we have, we actually just wipe the stage with the two specials. Like insane. Once we get to, uh, is it Lindbergh? Yeah, Lindbergh. Lindbergh and Karasau. We can use this stage to kind of stall a little bit. Not that we really need to, but um, we don't have to sort of rush here. We do want to try and take out uh, Lindbergh. So we are going to focus on attacking him. And then on turn two, we can use our Sobermaster special to give us an attack boost and to remove all those nasty block orbs. Ideally, right like here, you could probably use the... Um, the sugar special and just keep the kuzen like don't turn kuzen into a bear but you'll see how i sort of do it at the end there we do have the host ship on this team as well the host ship just gives us a little bit of extra healing i don't think it's overly necessary but it's sort of just peace of mind i guess now because we're on the two turn cooldown on our special one we could have moved on there but for some reason i just didn't <laughs> Now that the special one's gone though, we are definitely going to move into the final stage. And then we can use the superpower of the Queen of Toys to turn everyone into bears and just clap Koala, Sabo Koala. Now Sabo Koala actually give us a burn. Now burn is one of the effects that the bears actually ignore. So that burn is just non-existent for us. We don't even have to worry about it. So we're going to use our sugar special after we use Kuzan special. So Kuzan's given us the 2.25 times orb boost as well as color affinity as well for our quick units. Then we're going to use our sugar special here to turn everyone into bears except for Sober Mask. Now the reason we're not turning Sober Mask into a toy bear is because when we use sugar special, his crewmate ability is going to activate, which means that we're going to have his special ready. We can use that to give us a full water orbs and we now have an attack boost. And as you can see there, 34.6 times multiplier. So pretty nuts. Um, that was like with two shots. So definitely can be used outside of just like showcase purposes, I guess. The final team for this video is um, Double Sugar taking on the Dofi crew. A bit of a, uh, uh, what's the word? Can't think of it right now. Bit of a <laughs> bit of a backward scenario. We've got uh, Sugar taking down the man Dofi himself, and this just sort of shows off how strong those bears are. As Dofi is actually a Dex unit at the end, so we don't have color affinity, um, but we still manage to just clap Dofi. Uh, with this particular team, we have Sengoku for despair removal. Uh, he also gives an Orbis, which is pretty cool. Then we are going to use one of our uh, Sugar specials to just, just use bears, just use bears. Now we did keep Sober Mask uh, available again here as when we get to this stage against Rebecca, uh, she gives us Paralysis, which we have the support of Legend Bardo to remove on our Robbie, but we do want the support of Onami to trigger to set the defense to zero on um, Rebecca. Basically the only reason we do not turn uh, Sober Mask into a bear there. A Sob Master on this team again for his amazing sail ability. The 1.75 times rainbow attack boost, full border orbs through block orbs. He's just, he's a super sub, man. Like, he's hands down one of the best subs in the game. But as you can see here as well, like, Sugar can output quite a bit of damage. Now, we do have two units that are over the cost of 40. 
Um, that's something I didn't actually talk about at the beginning. Sugar is actually has a cost of 40, so she gives herself the full buff, which is great. But we have two units here that are over the cost of 40, so they aren't getting the full 4.5 times attack boost from Sugar, which isn't the end of the world because like three times isn't great, but like when they just turn to bears, like we don't have to worry about it. So we did get a quite a good sort of um, roll in terms of the cooldowns on this particular stage here. Sugar is a little bit squishy. Um, she doesn't have like too much HP, no damage reduction. So that's something to note as well. Against Bardo, we get uh, Gloomed for four turns. So we are going to use our Jewelry Bonnie special here. She removes Bind and Despair for five turns and gives us an attack boost for our quick units. So that works out really, really well on this stage as we are going to use our second Sugar special to literally turn everyone into bears except for Orobi. We don't turn Orobi into, into a toy bear as we are going to need her special on the next turn as we get paralyzed from our boy Treble. The Treble's going to give us, I think it's four turns of paralysis, maybe three turns of paralysis, three turns of paralysis. So we're gonna use a Robbie here as we're over half HP. We have damage null from Psy and strength characters. And then we can just let the bears do all of the work. We have the attack carryover for us as well from Jewelry Bonnie. That way we can just de destroy Treble, absolutely destroy Treble. Now we do want to stall back uh, our first sugar special here. So we are going to take a turn and let this gun and guy attack us. And then we can move on to the final stage. So this is where things get nutty. As I mentioned, Dofi does have color affinity against us. So we are going to be doing um, 0.75 times damage with the super typing of sugar. Um, so we do need to be mindful of that. We're going to use the super type of sugar here. That way we can um, get a 2.25 times orb boost. And then we can use our Sober Mask special to give us a full board of TND orbs. And to give us a 1.75 times attack boost, which is excellent. And then we are going to turn everyone into bears. And kill the grey guy and then just target Dofi. Look how much damage that is. So much damage against Dofi. So much damage. Fortunately, that Cannoneer, you just can't kill him. Like, he has, like, super high defense. But stage two, we're going to use the super tapping again and just wipe the rest of these guys. So there you guys go. That was my Sugar Showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know how you guys are enjoying playing with the queen of the toys. But if you did enjoy this one, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with more OPTC content I post, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Love!